All right, Tress, welcome in to Snackin' with Selby, where you're gonna be eating some of your favorite desserts. Well, it's mine. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna admit to you, Tress, I'm a little nervous. Why? Um, because- Everybody has hyped you up, so I feel like if any of the, I feel like my critique, that that's the nerves. I feel like you're just in the element. Why coconut cream pie? Because you know everyone, you know, you have a strict diet, but you know we all have to have our cheat days too. So. Strict is relative. Well, so here's they the like to have you strict. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the deal. Um, a lot of people don't know we have a weight that we have to be at. Sure. It is actually called a finable weight. Oh. Where if you are overweight, they can find you. Now here's the deal. My wife is incredibly supportive. If I was ever fined because I was overweight. I don't know if I'm ever coming back from that one. Well, to in, in order to save your your wallet a little bit, there we'll just, there it just is. save a bite or two. So let's, Deal. let's, let's dive into so this just, for So just ignore that I could have the rest here in about 30 minutes sitting over there. You know, nobody said that. Nobody said that. <laughs> Go ahead, let's let's see what you get. Let's see what, the, see what we got here. Sit oh, buddy. Oh, good. I'm not gonna lie. baby. <laughs> Am I? Is it gross if they can hear me like keep eating while we talk? Go ahead. I, are you sure? I think that's a compliment. That's honestly. Dude, that's gotta be gross in the camera though. <laughs> My kids are still too young. They don't really know what's going on watching the show, so I tell them no dessert before dinner. But you know, when you're the parent, you get to make the rules. Right. So this is what, your ninth, tenth year? Nine, Nine. man. Nine. Wow. I mean, just think about that. Like, I mean, you've been through name changes, coaching changes, yes. all this stuff. I mean, do you like sit back and think about that every now and again? Not gonna lie, I'm, I'm thinking about this coconut cream pie right now. <laughs> this is the first time I've had this one while at work. So this is uh, this sure. is pretty awesome. But dude, it the nine year thing has been pretty crazy to just, I guess just gratitude. A lot of people don't know my story of getting to Washington was went to Chicago, got cut by Chicago, uh, was encouraged by family and friends, things like that. Uh, I'd actually quit football. I texted my agent and I had said, hey, thanks for giving me a chance. I wish I had punted better but I got offered a great job in Oklahoma City and I took it and I just closed the door on football. My, my wife, who was my fiance at the time, family, friends, they said, man, give it one more year. Like you learned a lot, try one more time, went back to Chicago, got cut again. Now, do you dabble in fantasy football? I, occasionally. Okay, occasionally. so are you familiar with the waiver wire? Yes, absolutely. That's a, that's a real thing. Yes. You can claim yes. people. I was waiver wired, claimed here and so wow. what, why I am obviously very biased because I've been here for nine years, when I got claimed here, I'll never forget driving home after being cut. When you get cut, they give you all, they get, you have all of your things. They give you a black trash bag just to throw it. Oh dude, wow. it sucks. Yeah. Wow, so you like, does it matter? It I'm just... not sure. Either way it stinks. And so <laughs> you throw it all in, I'm driving home and I got a 703 area code called and said that we claimed you off the waiver wire. It sounds cheesy, but I felt wanted. And so ever since I just got that phone call from out here that I was coming out here, I just love being a part of it and especially getting to know the fans and getting to do some fun stuff. And so it's really fun. I'm actually currently the oldest dude on the team. That's and that, wild. Uh, that is pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, your life's changed obviously a lot. I mean, you got some kids now. I oh mean, yeah. I, mean, I have now, to do one more now, big bite uh, and then I'll put it down. It's seriously I, super I, good. I man. gotta say, um, you know, is, do you consider Cheeseman one of your kids now? Because I've heard that he goes to he goes there all the time. So, my kids love cheese. I mean, like, he walks through the door and you hear three little ones go, cheese! <laughs> they love the cheese, so that's pretty cool. But, I think how I view cheese, he's the same age as my youngest brother-in-law. I think it's more of the way Cheese views me. I think he okay. thinks that I'm full-blown old figure. geezer. Oh yeah, I'm like, buddy, you gotta lower your expectations and let's just have a good time. And so it has been, and dude, you couldn't ask for a better dude in, in Cheese coming in, a draft, like, I, he can look at me for the rest of our career together and be like, hey man, I'm a draft pick and you're not. I mean, the dude was drafted here. He's an incredible athlete and a great snapper. And then Joey. I. I strive to look like Joey muscle wise, how that dude oh, looks. Oh, don't we all? I, I mean, mean, good seriously. lord. Like, when I am done playing football, I'm weirdly going to take a picture of Joey now and just be like, all right, that's my project. Now that I'm done punting, punting's no longer the goal, that's the goal. And then Joey's just such a good dude and just so yeah. selfless and so very fortunate to have two guys that are fun to hang out with. How how long is it until Cheese is not considered a rookie? Is he still a rookie in your that's eyes? That's such a great question, man. <laughs> I, I have heard that in the football world, whenever somebody comes in as a rookie, it's hard to shake that. Okay. Now, I can tell you that 
cheese has gotten significantly better in his storytelling. That's, that's a plus. I've heard it needed some work. It needed some work, and I, I don't mind saying that because I think that he would say that. The other thing that Cheese has gotten crazy good at is his jog. You have to have a, an NFL jog. Interesting. He looked like the kid in the neighborhood that was way too old to be running down the ice cream truck, like chasing yeah. it while <laughs> maybe he has to fart. I, it's just <laughs> like butt clenched, and then now it looks good. I, I looked at him and go, Cheese, you're a great athlete and you're a pro athlete. So if he, if he had one thing jog. he learned in his time, it's the, the proper the jog. jog. The jog, and I've had compliments on my jog, and so I feel, I don't have a good walk. But okay. I have a good, I have a good jog, That's and good so I think, yeah. yeah, and so, uh, but yeah, it uh, the the dude is the dude is absolutely rising. So yeah, yeah, on a good track. You know, people see you for like ten plays in a game. Yes, and I'm sure there's some you know people's like well, I can do that. You know, I can I can punt a ball. You know, but with, I mean, there's a lot about your job that people just don't really know. So yeah. like, what's one thing you kind of people don't really understand about punters? Yeah. So one, thank you for saying that because one of my favorite things to do messing with people is they're like, hey, you play in the NFL, well, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I'm the punter. And they go, ah, oh, see, that's what I should have done. If I had punted, <laughs> if I had punted instead of playing quarterback or linebacker, I'd have been in the NFL. All and, Uncle Rico's out yes, there. Yes, <laughs> and every time I go, listen, man, you messed up. You had one chance and you picked the other position, so sorry, don't don't punish me because I was the smart one. Mm. But yeah, I just, I'm like, yeah, totally, dude, you could have done it. Well, I'm glad you came on, had some good time, being dude, a sport. and but. great pie. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate that. I'm glad that at least you're able to enjoy a little bit of a lot a tree of from snagging from Selby, an official partner of Safeway. Thank you, dude. Hey, appreciate it. <laughs>